What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with The Fall. Uh, for Well, really it came out on uh, Steam, came out on PS4 I think. Uh, but this is the Nintendo Switch version we're playing. And what's weird is they released, on the, on the Nintendo Switch I mind you, they, re they released The Fall Part 2 before they released Part 1, which is this, so... Uh, after, I guess after you're done watching this, if you haven't seen it, I did a playthrough on Part 2. I had not played part one, so yeah, it's kind of weird, but uh, it works. I think this game is was actually really a uh, really well received game. It, uh, I think story of the year for like the game like the game awards. I don't know what which game awards exactly, but yeah, this is this is the fall from Over the Moon. Alright, so, minor landing damage sustained, health monitoring system offline, great. Biomonitor inoperable, pilot unresponsive, life support functioning, basic Mark 7 system access routed to ARID AI, primary objective, save my pilot. Okay, so, the suit is basically the AI and we're trying Accessing to save... Accessing suit logs, mission parameters and location data not found. So right, so ZL and then right stick to examine things. Tunnel created from my impact. I can see stars in the dis in the distance. I am approximately 50 meters below the surface. Trail of blood and broken glass. Something was dragged through here. Level okay. Unknown. Weapon rendered inoperable from the impact. Consulting parameters. Okay. So. Around, what do we see? Small bioluminescent insects. Oh, scrap pile. Large pile damaged and destroyed synthetics. Some of these uh, poor power systems are still giving off minute electrical signals. All right. Whoa! Yeah, I just kind of took off from nowhere. Right. Robotic arm. The gripping mechanism is still operable. Still attached. Damage control panel from an old garbage chute. There must be another cavern below this one. Perhaps there's another way down. Cannot. Okay. Micro wrench. This may be useful. Whoa. Winch is holding up those planks. Cloaking pattern is similar to my own. I may be able. I may be able to network with it. Okay. I require access to my networking suite. Attempting internal activation. Let's check our operating parameters. <laughs> I like how they does it, how they do this. not represent reality. I didn't see that second one. It must protect the active pilot. Operating screen. Welcome to the operating screen. Here you can check the status of your different abilities. Check your network interface. Select your network interface to continue. Access restricted. An organic superior officer is required to permit access. Automatic override will occur if the subsystem is required to prevent pilot death. Okay. System access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I can Whoa. find a way to bypass Glitching. the lockout, I could override the access protocols myself. Right, let's keep going. Go back. Yeah, this is this is all about finding different things and seeing what you can do. Can we do this? Yep. All right. We got an arm. Uh, 
Ugh, that creeps me out so much. Ugh. What's that? An unpowered sentry gun is likely connected to the security panel. Advanced security card, I can fit my hand I can I can fit my hand through the bars but still cannot reach it. Use the robotic arm. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so we have the security card now. Oh, still creepy. This whole place is just off. <laughs> Oh, cool, it's an elevator. Okay, I guess we're going this way. I didn't see what that was. A door or a control switch. There's a slot here for a security card, okay. Okay, I guess I picked up an old metal pan. Let's try this. Yay, it worked, okay. Ooh, what's all this? This looks fun. Oh, bright light. Artificial life form, state your primary function. Your mom. <laughs> That's terrible, I don't know why I said that. That was the first time I've ever used a your mom joke in my <laughs> one of my playthroughs, all right. I am the ARID on board this Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. What is your designation? Mark 7 ARID. State your primary function. Negative. Reveal your designation and intention. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. Depurposing. That means destroy. Negative. I will not reveal my directives to an unknown entity. Infraction. Avoidance. Continued infractions will result in failure. Do not attempt depurposing. Hostility will result in full defensive engagement. Irrelevant. State your primary function. My primary function is to assist and protect the human pilot of this armored combat suit. Human occupant, please verify and validate the function of this artificial life form. Impossible. He is unresponsive and like. I'd be like, wake up, damn it! <laughs> I must find him medical treatment immediately. Can you be of assistance? Evaluation failed. Unit unable to demonstrate valid primary function. So Initializing neural format. No. That will kill more. Oh. Well, guess we're dead. All right, that was a fun game. Uh, death imminent, networks wait required, operating screen updated. Okay, attention. Pilot death imminent, criteria for override has been met, please activate subsystem immediately. Okay, so I guess we can get the network base. Whoa! Jeez, I just wanted to not die, and I freaking destroyed him. Yeah, he is. The terminal has a strong, a strong firewall. I was not able to network with it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little good that firewall did. <laughs> the droid is gone. There's no sign of it. Okay. Well, rest in peace, buddy. That was fun. What other stuff can we destroy? Self-evaluation initiated. Pilot exposed to harm while under ARID control. Logging recommendation from ARID. Diagnostic and reformatting upon return to dock. Oh. Ultimately, pilot was not harmed and ARID networking suite was brought online. This system may be instrumental to ensure survival. Alright, cool. So I guess, uh... If I'm understanding it right, uh, if we put ourselves in situations where we have to do something, the network suite will, 
I guess will allow me, but only uh, only when it's extremely necessary. Good to know. Is it the same guy? Pattern is similar to my own. Okay, maybe let's try networking. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey, okay. What's up, buddy? Please identify yourself and your intentions. My inputs are inoperable. I am the ARID. He's, uh, he's messed up. Seven combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Does your pilot require assistance? Next. The human inside the suit is dead. Yeah, he used to. <laughs> your design is pilot-centric. How did this human die in your care? I was granted rudimentary control. Probably has something to do with the giant broken glass around my face. And the fact that I'm dripping blood still. <laughs> no vital signs detected for 23 minutes. She is dead. You are irrelevant. I will find a way to get you down. Then I will. It's like the worst thing you can tell someone. You're irrelevant. Affirmative. I do not have record of this location or of my pilot's objective. Our deployment was likely for the same operation. Please disclose your human's mission directive. State. State your pilot's clearance. Fifth Quadrant Raven Division. Clearance level seven five three three one seven two. Processing. Clearance level not sufficient. I encountered a need level nine droid clearance in for that. type of evaluation chamber. I am uncertain if its function is hostile or narrowly programmed. Do you know why it interrogated me? Negative. We were not interrogated. Have you encountered any organics? The indigenous flora and fauna. Yeah, the organic so market down the, the street. Ugh. The only they are very organic. <laughs> My pilot is injured. Are you aware of on site medical facilities? Negative. We were not here long enough to complete our search. There is a large compound above this cavern, it has amenities for humans and machines. So basically, medical scanners and equipment would be logical. A motion sensor prohibits access to the facility above. Do you know how to bypass it? Use your integrated camouflage. Is your weapon functional? Yeah, While give me a gun. Damaged? It was. My pilot's attacker threw it aside while hanging us here. Before my observational system expired, I saw a small animal drag it through a crack in the floor. It may still be functioning. If there is another cavern below us... The creature was drawn to my human's blood. Okay, then. I will return. drip of blood. Alright, I got his blood. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess we could use it to lure out an animal. <laughs> that too. Let's see, how are we going to get down there? Oh! Yeah, looks like I'm on the right path. There we go. Filled a massive quantity of dissected, discarded robots. Most recent model I detected is decades old, other than where some of these machines show no sign of malfunction. Wait, what? Some of these machines show no sign of malfunction? Okay, that's weird. Bits, bits of bone, and animal droppings. Lovely. Small creature, it has something metallic in its mouth. Perhaps I can lure it out with something to eat. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
The animal is timid. It will not exit the burrow while I am in proximity. Alright. There we go. Alright, weapon is still operable. You have a working weapon. Weapon charge. Your weapon takes a while to charge. Be careful. I am the ARID on board this Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. What is your target not complying? What is it? Not complying? Okay, use cover wisely. Several enemies in the fall are much more powerful than you. J thanks. <laughs> Be sure to stay in cover until it's safe, okay? When ready, aim for cover with the right stick and fire, okay? We got our gun, that's good. Oh. There we go. Alright. Alright, we got our gun back. Now we can shoot stuff. We need to. Takedowns. If you approach an enemy without being seen, you can perform a takedown. Arid will salvage some of the enemy's energy to recharge her own. That's cool. Sweet! That's fun. Alright. Alright, and we are gonna talk to- let's see, we have our gun, so I guess now we can talk to this guy. Uh, we will do that next time, guys. So, that's gonna wrap things up for tonight's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, stay tuned for more of the fall videos. Till next time, this is Tim for Tim Plays a Game signing off, and have a good night.